Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and welcome back to part 8 on how to make a Steampunk Spells mini album. So we are going to decorate the next page but first I thought I would show you I added some more tags here. So I took this paper here and I, here I had uh, cut out the um, butterfly so I placed some gears and backed it with uh, black paper. So this is going to go inside here. And um, I also cut out, um, this is a Tim Holtz uh, die, and I just cut out these all except for one on this side and placed the eye, eye inside. And uh, for the other side, here is a place for a photo or uh, you can add some fun things or so you can um, uh, do some journaling or so. And here are some glasses that you use in maybe when you are flying. So I will place them on here. So if you like you can place um, this with a repositional uh, tape. So you can take it off when you make a, or put in a photo. And here I have some gears and to come some pop dots. Place them inside for the eyes. Bit so. so now this can go inside here. Here out. And I also cut out off a bit uh, on this one so it slides more easy here. So now for the next page. So on this uh, page we are going to make a shaker tag. And this takes a bit to dry so we will start with that. And um, here I have... Um, this is a packaging from a Tim Holtz clock. But you can use any packaging you ha have if you like to make it. So I just punched a hole with my punch and then I think it was one and three quarter and then I had to cut off a bit more. So I already glued this on the back here and it wasn't all the way plastic here so I just put some extra glossy accent on here. And uh, here is a clock from the 12 by 12 and I outlined it a bit with a black marker. So here we are going to um, take some clock parts and chain and whatever you like or have you can put inside here. Just be sure it doesn't uh, build up more than, um, than the height of uh, the acetate. So just fill it up in the middle here. So. So we we'll just glue a bit on the outside here. Then we can glue this on here. So try to line it up so the 12 comes on the top here. So. Here. Sorry, my dog is barking in the background here. So. I also take some glossy accent around here. Here I need to have it a bit close up myself. work but we will try it else we can cut it off after so we just move it careful around I'm 
this is a ball chain from Tim Holtz, but you can use any chain or whatever you like. You can also outline this with a gear frame around here. So it would have been fun, maybe I'll try to add that later. <laughs> we see. So now we can cut this up. For a minute. So now I think it's dried enough and while we were or I was talking about the gear uh, I decided to put uh, one on. Often the ideas comes when uh, when we are creating. So I just took off the chain and then I placed the, the gear behind and that was the same gear uh, from uh, Tim Holtz that we used on the other tag I showed in the beginning of the video. So I think I will uh, cut around it, but maybe add a paper on the back first. So here I'm using the 8x8, and I forgot to outline it. <laughs> and um, you just measure uh, from what uh, sort of shaker you are using, but uh, be sure f from the bottom of the shaker and down to not have more than three and a half inch or so. so. glue this on. So now I will cut around um, this gear here. I think I will start here. And when I've done that I will be back and we do the rest. So now I've cut around it. And uh, we also want a bit of a journaling mat here. And uh, this is from um, the 12 by 12 backing, our back paper. So I inked it up with vintage photo and black distress. So I'm also going to have something on top here, but I think I will take the back side here first. So, and if you see here, when you're gluing this down, don't glue this down, but just inside here. So then it's easy to cut around like so. So here we are, want this over. And uh, maybe this, you can leave as a photo mat if you like to. But I think I will have this inside here. So, yeah. so we can glue it down. And here we have to see, because they are a bit different, you see. So we have to move it a bit and see how where it fits. So here it fits. You also can leave open in one hand and, uh, and uh, for uh, photos to slide in. I will just go 
glue this in the bottom if you want to take it off for a photo or so. I also cut out this TikTok take on the top. And this uh, clock here was from 8x8 paper. legs or <laughs> gears that I want to have here. So we just try a bit but this I won't glue on now because I think maybe I will take some uh, stickles or crackle accent but that you will see in the finished video. So I need to see how the rest of the page <laughs> builds up. Maybe a little brad or something, but I think I'll leave it like that. So that was a shaker tag, so you can see it's shaking inside here. It's a bit of a fun. So now we can start uh, with the page. So we will start with the flaps and uh, we are going to make uh, some gears. And here I uh, made on one already and I have uh, crackle painted with uh, Distress uh, Crackle Paint Black. So for this you need a 4x4 four four piece of paper and uh, you can use this tool here, I'm not sure what it's called, to draw a line around or you can make it a round circle and then we start folding. know this already but for those of you who don't know how to make a round shape I show you. So then we start to round it a bit so this maybe it's not perfect at all. <laughs> uh, we need to cut it a bit more round here. So, but you see the meaning of it. So then you get this shape here and then you can start and, and draw a line just be a bit more precise <laughs> that I that I am uh, yeah about that so but uh, it's not that uh, important to be <laughs> precise either because it's a gear so it can have a shape that's not perfect So now you have this form here and uh, then you can, uh, this I made from lightweight chipboard so you can use uh, packaging from kitchen uh, food, uh, yeah, things. So then I draw it direct on my chipboard like so and the outline here. Oops. And then I just um, took and draw like so. And when I have them all, I started to cut them out and I did a bit of an angle here. So, but you can also, if you don't want to do it this way, uh, you can see here they are not all the same and alike, but uh, yeah. <laughs> It works. Um, take a strip here. You can uh, just cut some strips of of shipboard. And uh, this technique I learned from Linda at Live Art Now. So uh, I will link to her. Um, channel below. She has a lot of fun videos if you haven't seen them. 
so then you just can start pretend this is a shipboard gluing these on like so if you find that more easy than to cut into shipboard so so these uh, these techniques you can use for all the um, gears and so uh, we are using in this album just make them small smaller or bigger so and you can take this out and make it a round shape so that was that and uh, this will be a bit too high so I think we will need to cut it off a bit but that we see when we put it together so and you also use uh, the same shape to cut out uh, this here that's going to go behind here so we will start with uh, gluing that on so this should be 4 inch since we cut out the same circle 4 inch sorry that's my little dog again <laughs> we hear something he needs to bark a lot so should have bent this out before I took the glue on so we don't glue over the scoring line here take a bit more here This is uh, drying. We can work on some uh, the shoe are, we are going to have here. And um, here I put on some metal brads from Graphic 45. And uh, this thread here was for, from the binding for the album. So I just took two threads here. So we're sewing them around here. Oops. Just go in uh, where it looks like it's holes. I'll show you a bit close up here, and then I drag the thread down. So I go in here. or I went with my marker a bit uh, on the outside here because it's going to uh, be showing from the back side. And we also want some gears on the top here. So here I cut out from the 12 by 12 paper and added some gears from Tim Holtz and this I painted black. And here is a fastener and uh, yeah, I <laughs> know I don't remember the name but it's also from Tim Holtz. And I also painted that one black so we're going to screw that one on here. Oh, we are going to have this gear on first. And this didn't fit so I took my screwdriver and made a bit larger hole here. So. The 
is we are going to have on this shoe here. So stick it under a bit here I think about. Yeah. So uh, I think we may be using this glue so I'm sure it will hold. some feathers here so have some brown and some black feathers using my hot glue gun. Take a bit around here. Oops. Now we can press it down. So it's great to have a craft mat. And I also uh, made a little bow and this is my art ribbon. So I want this on the front here of her shoe. Take just a little bit of hot glue behind here. Also take a black paper on the back with just to be sure it's well glued down here. And we can snip off the rest. So. If you are new with a hot glue gun, please be careful. It's uh, you can burn yourself very much. We will try with this and see where to put it. Here about, I think. Yeah. So I think I will use my hot glue gun here as well. Put it on the back side here. And uh, I also have this keyhole here from my Graphic uh, 45 and I painted it a bit black with uh, my paint, uh, black paint dabber. So I want this to go here. So then we need to poke some holes. Just position it. I think I will take the marker here. Just mark where I want the holes to go. here in Norway. Uh, the perfect size. 
So then we can take the back side. So here I just cut out the same shape. So we are going to glue that on and it wasn't perfect but we can go around with our marker. This was from the six uh, by six paper and also the red on the front was from the six by six paper. mistakes. So, and we also want a little pocket here. So this I cut out from the 12 by 12 paper and uh, we are going to place a magnet here. So, and uh, just a little paper over. <laughs> this you need to work a bit with. So just take your nails or something around here. So you're sure it's secured. You can also use the tape strip over here. So, now we will glue this down here. So I will just take a bit on the side here and on the bottom, on the side here.